friends in this video we will learn the sentence channel capacity theorem and uh, we will do a previous year get question to learn that concept so here i start the question can be read as the capacity of a band limited additive void gaussian noise channel is given by this formula c equals to this bits per second where w is the channel bandwidth p is the average power received and sigma square is one sided power spectral density of additive void void gaussian noise for a fixed p upon sigma square equals to 1000 the channel capacity in kilobits per second with infinite bandwidth that is w when w tends to infinity is approximately which one of the following so these are the options so first of all we will learn this channel capacity theorem and then we will try to uh, elaborate this formula for w tends to infinity that is infinite bandwidth so here we start first of all what is meant by channel capacity so channel capacity is nothing but the maximum bits per second that can be passed through channel that is for a channel if we are passing some bits some bit per second for example 2 uh, kilobits per second we are passing and the capacity of the channel is only 1 kbps then we cannot pass this bits per second through this channel with without any error or uh, we, we cannot consider that at output we will get the desired result so how we can determine this the capacity of this channel so for for the capacity of this channel sanan has defined a formula that is channel capacity theorem that the maximum limit that we can pass through a channel is given by this formula consider and uh, he has considered the noise in this derivation so here we have the channel capacity theorem and it is defined as c equals to w log 2 base 2 1 plus s by n so w is what w is the bandwidth of the signals that we are passing so here i have written s by n is signal to noise ratio and uh, we must note that s by n is not in db sometimes it is given in db then we will convert in it in simple ratio here we have to put the simple ratio value and uh, s by n it can be further written as this way p upon sigma square w where p represents the signal power or s and p can alternately be used here in the question p has been used for the signal power but we can use s as well for the signal power and is equals to sigma square w sigma square is nothing but the noise spectral density noise spectral density once multiplied with the bandwidth for example if we take additive void gaussian noise additive void gaussian noise gaussian noise will be this way if there is a bandwidth for example this is the band after filtering this is only the band is passed at output so this will only be passed so this is spectral density means sigma square the spectral density will be multiplied with this w then we will get the desired power of the noise so n represents the power of the noise and the sigma square w sigma square is power spectral density and w is the bandwidth means it multiplied it will give the total power so for infinite bandwidth what will be the result so for infinite bandwidth the result will be 1.44 p by sigma square so this must be learned so uh, these two relation we must know s by n equals to p by sigma square w in general form uh, when it is uh, put here so we will get c equals to w log 2 1 plus p by sigma square w but the total channel capacity for infinite bandwidth that is w tends to infinity will be 1.44 p by sigma square you can also derive this formula using some technique uh, like uh, infinite uh, putting infinite bandwidth here 
here we can use this how the formula comes so c equals to w log 2 1 plus p by sigma square w we can put here w log 2 e and log base e we can use some logarithm properties to uh, solve in this way so 1 plus p by sigma square w log 2 e the value of this will be 1.44 this is w log e further derived the expanded and we will get the result that is we know very well that uh, log base e1 plus x can be written in this way x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 the same has been used here to write this one so p by sigma square w half the x square 1 by 3 x cube of this term see this way now when w tends to infinity so we will uh, do this one only w we will multiply w to each of the terms so the first term will only be constant and the rest term will have w in its denominator so when we will put infinity all the rest terms will become zero and only this term remains so 1.44 p by sigma square so we will we reach to the result that we had written earlier and now for the given case for the given problem we have the same thing here given p by sigma square is fixed 8000 and w tends to infinity for this channel capacity is to be determined so we will directly put uh, p by sigma square as 1000 1.44 into 1000 bits per second that is 44 kbps okay so this way we can get the channel capacity for uh, result and so we can match the answer that is 1.44 so this is the channel capacity theorem and uh, this is the channel capacity theorem and the special case for this channel capacity theorem is when w tends to infinity the result becomes c equals to 1.44 p upon sigma square so this must be learned all uh, as well as sometimes it is being asked in the exam so I hope that's, that uh, this video will help you to solve uh, some GATE problems and uh, try to solve other related problems from the previous year GATE exam. I will come with some other videos with some other concepts in coming days. Thank you so much for watching.